Hi guys, good afternoon. You're here with me, Katie, at Myers Family Blackpool, and today we're with Eric, Kaylee. <laughs> so, and Mark's obviously holding the. Uh... Hello, Mark. What are you doing? You're supposed to be filming. Camera. So Hello. today we thought we're going to go up Lytham Road and sort of round the the Foxhall type area. So come join us. So you've got the uh, Lindale Cafe there. It looks very nice, that doesn't it? I like the green on the building. Just the seafront just there. Uh, sea fresh fish and chips, that's a good chip shop, isn't it? Yeah. The people are nice in there as well. Our oh, Benji used to go in for his ice cream it's there, expected, didn't he? It's expected to start raining at 12.32. It's going to rain at 12.32, is that what you said? Oh, I hope not. Run. No, please don't rain. I'm going home. I want a nice refreshing walk. It will certainly be Excuse refreshing. Me. Isn't it a shame about this big site here, look? Look at it, it's an absolute tip, it's isn't it? Not. So Mark was saying to me that they'd run out of money the company that were going to do it, but I heard that the council had taken over. I mean, probably after all this time. I mean, it does look a mess, but then at the same time, do we want tons of houses there? No. It's just going to make the area more, yeah, I don't know, like claustrophobic. Yeah. It's kind of hard to I don't think we need any more buildings. I think it should just be a big green area and have a little park on it. We don't have enough greenery, don't you think? Yeah. Blackpool needs more greenery, so yeah, a park, that'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, right, right. It'd be a massive street. park, you could even have a, a football court in there, couldn't you? Yeah. So we're just here on Lytham Road. Got a few little hotels here. Uh, the Shores is just there. And the Hollingdales Hotel, just over the road. That karaoke bar looks pretty nice, pal. We need to pop in one night and have a little sing-song. What do you reckon? I'm literally like, uh, popping to Square Square right now. <laughs> uh, but yeah. We need to go in and check it out, don't we? It looks kind of cool. I love like all the colour of it. Yeah, it's really colourful. Oh yeah, the four yeah. Beatles. Um, like on there, like the that is, uh, God, why do they have to be so loud? It's like, hello, look at me, I've got a loud car, and what? Oh. So just down there, you've got the retail park, um, Frankie and Benny's, Odeon, McDonald's. Um, what else is in the retail park? Gym. Oh yes, the gym, Bannantines, isn't it? So we're going to be getting either a Taco Bell or um, a Starbucks drive through there, so that'll be pretty cool. Hilton House. Oh, I'll tell you what guys, Ooh, it is nippy today. If you come out today, you need to wrap up warm. I haven't put gloves on and my fingers feel like fish fingers. I should have worn a coat. Yeah, and you've got this one here in his, uh, in his jammers. <laughs> As we do, you know, we just walk around the streets vlogging in pajamas. I walk about ten minutes before I come to yours. <laughs> Lazy. I'm, I'm going for a nap when we get in. <laughs> so you've got a premier there on the corner, and then just here is um, Home Bargains. Let's just have a quick look round here. You've also got the uh, the tram uh, depot here. And I do believe you can take tours round it, so I'm going to look at booking that, so I can show you round. So there's the uh, the tram depot just there, and of course there's the entrance to Home Bargains. Yeah, we'll have to go to that tram depot one day. You get to see all the old style trams, don't you? Just over there. Yeah, apparently you can uh, you can book a little tour. So I'll look into doing that. We're well, certainly very um. Oh yeah. 
We're certainly very lucky here, aren't we, for the amount of shops we have. We're not short at all. Okay, look at the roof. Ed, Ed, the up there. Oh. <laughs> Edward. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh, God. <coughs> I tell you what, I won't be filming for long today. Oh, it is absolutely freezing. <laughs> and as Perry says, it's um, apparently going to rain in 15 minutes so let's see how far we get oh. Harry yes. oh. <laughs> so you've got a tattoo studio just there on the corner yes, and the cedar tree fish and chip shop quickly over the road guys So yeah, this is uh, Lytham Road. Got tons and tons and tons of businesses on here. This one looks nice, doesn't it? Shaw Stay Guest House. Looks nice, nice and clean, but yet no vacancies. So that shows that it's uh, a good one, doesn't it? Georgina's Hair and Beauty. Oh yeah. Oh no, 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 no. Mark, get back this way. <laughs> There's an absolutely massive, two massive pit bulls just there without owners. There is absolutely no way I'm continuing up that street. I am terrified of pit bulls. I don't think anyone's walking up that street. Yeah, I'm not walking up that street, not oh now. Because that one's not on the lead and then that one's just sat outside the shop. Nope, I'm down. Just sat outside the shop, no lead, a huge pit bull. No, so guys, we're not doing the tour of um, Liven Road today. No. You got to see a little bit of it. We will do it again. We will just walk somewhere else. No, I literally am petrified because I got attacked by a pit bull on the beach. It was about, about four years ago now, I think, wasn't it? But it still hasn't ever left me. So as soon as I see them, I'm terrified and of course dogs can pick up if you're scared so it's just best not to walk near them if you know you're terrified I mean an average sized dog you've got a better chance of fighting it off but you're not fighting a pit bull off are you? No. I mean I couldn't I remember when the dog started um, sinking his teeth into my leg and I was just going down he was pulling me down to the ground sort of all happened in slow motion but I know you're supposed to face your fears it's like if you're in a car crash they say look you know just get back in the car don't let it beat you but I do find it incredibly difficult when it comes to pit bulls yeah no that was a shame but um we'll definitely divert our walk I just can't believe it was outside in a front garden like that and not even on a lead and the, the gate was open, it was it was stood in the gateway. No, there was yeah, there was one just sat outside the shop. No owner, no, no. and then there was that one over the road with no lead. Yeah, no, that's a no. <laughs> so we're just here at the uh, tram depot. We've got a tram coming out. Oh my god, bro. Oh hell no. Oh, it's a bit of an old style one, isn't it? to go and like okay. check myself in somewhere <laughs> I'm clearly not well I can't believe I just thought that was a tram how embarrassing <laughs> so this is the um Foxhall estate I really love those balconies up there I do. on a night you get yourself a nice yeah. comfy sun lounger Play watching the stars. get a little um one of those like log fires what we used to have the outside one obviously um, yeah, I'd go to sleep up there. In fact, <laughs> when we lived in Coventry, we had a big balcony and I had a reclining armchair out there. And I used to go to sleep out there, I used to take my cotton pillow out, just have a little drink and watch the stars. Yeah. yeah. So you'd have to pay extra for them though, right? You know the oh, of course they're going to cost more. Yeah, because you've got that extra privilege of having the balcony. 
So I'm not even entirely sure where we're walking now, to be honest. I was looking forward to doing Lytham Road, but um, oh well. Things happen, eh, and it can't be helped. So where should I film now? Ah, oh, so these two are deserting me now, aren't you guys? Yes. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Let's keep walking up here. So we're just at the back of the Odeon. Frankie and Benny's and there's McDonald's just there. And then you've got a lovely little housing estate here. It's really pretty, isn't it? Oh, isn't this pretty? This is a nice little area, isn't it? Boat. <laughs> There's a boat. So this is called Garrett Gardens. It's going to rain. Oh, please don't rain. Have you... Mark's took the umbrella. No, it's in my bag. Oh, phew. <laughs> At least we have that. Oh, I think I just felt a drop. Yeah. That rather worries me. Ah, be mine. <laughs> In. But hopefully you're enjoying this video. I love the fact they're all different coloured, these houses. Yeah. I mean, that one's not very colourful. <laughs> Sir Stanley Matthews Way East. Oh, that's a bit of a mouthful, yeah, isn't it? Fancy. Yeah. very nice houses and they do look really good the only gripe I would have on the um, garage things the, I think you need to have a door on your your garage area it seems very silly to not ha have a door it's your private space and surely to keep down the risk of car theft and you know burglary you think they would have doors on wouldn't you Got some workmen there working away, bless them. Festival Leisure Park just in front of us. Yeah, so that was going to be the Mecca bingo, but it's changed a hell of a lot to when we last saw it. So yeah, something is uh, is happening. It's all been painted since I last came down. It wasn't pink like that previously. So we're just here on Rigby Road at the minute. I think we're going to turn right up here and wander up that way and see what we can find. I'm sure I just felt another splash of rain. Oh, please, for the love of God, don't rain on me. Why does it always rain on me? Is, leads up to Central Drive, doesn't it? Or is it Central Drive? Yeah. Ooh. Central Drive. Yeah. Westmoreland Garage just there over the road take a walk up this way and maybe we could go up onto Lytham Road but go past where the dogs were. One of these side streets will take you down onto there. Oh will it not? You've got the football club, you've got the school. Oh I don't want to walk anywhere near those things. 
It is starting to rain, so my phone is green for that. Yeah, I just felt another splash. So you just got the SO garage here. Oh my god. You've got a, a nice big <laughs> the umbrella keeps going inside out. You've got um, a nice big park just there. Lots of children playing. This provision, skills training centre and community cafe. Um, do you want to walk up this way? Up by the park? Just here by the magic hand car wash and ballet. Poor Perry's had to put the umbrella down, it's too windy. I'm going to end up looking like a drowned rat. <laughs> Back of the um, stadium there, you've got a firewood shop or firwood, coastal garage. See, look, there's a cute little dog there. I like that little dog. I just don't like big, massive, scary ones. Huskies? Yeah. No. I mean, I like dogs when I know them. It's like people, isn't it? I always say to Mark and Daniel, dogs are exactly the same as people. Some are horrible, some are nice. Yeah. You have to get to know them. And you wouldn't just go up to a, a stranger human and pat them on the head and stroke them. So don't do it to a strange dog. Yeah. It's a pretty good analogy, isn't it? Well, I guess for humans, it's the same as you just go and like, hug someone with no context. Yeah. If you tried to do that to a human you didn't know, they're going to likely smack you. So it's the same with the dog, he could nip you. So. McDonald's, yeah. Um, you yeah. just need to go to the lights there, turn left, and you can't miss it. The retail park's just in front. All right, mate. So Keats Stay Centre, just over the road. Um, Shorelands, they are recruiting. It says social care needs you. So if you want a job in social care, it's, uh, oh, my foot's got wet now. <laughs> I tried to jump, that's why the camera went everywhere. Then I was trying to jump over the puddles and I missed. And <laughs> I've got a wet foot. Get a grip. Lover. Yeah, to be fair, that would have been Playing humiliating. Game and all that. Like in show bar that night. <laughs> <laughs> Falling over a step. Oh, it's so embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> I'll make <it> for days. <laughs> so we're just here by You Are Potential, which is a fantastic company. They do loads of youth work, youth groups for young people in Blackpool, Fylde and Wire. They really are amazing there, they're honestly, it's massive, very, very like massive credit to you are potential. They do a lot of training. I did training there myself. Um, I did recovery coaching there. I loved it. So there you are. You are potential. 344398 or you are uk. They're also on Facebook and Twitter. Oh yeah. So this is uh, Wandy's, Wandy's Barbers. That looks nice, doesn't it? <laughs> what are you giggling at? <laughs> so I'm <laughs> <laughs> Oh bless. He's probably thinking we're filming for Prime Watch or something. <laughs> Bowed floor over there. Oh, I love little shops like this. Got a nice little, nice little shop there. Sea sliders and Leo's mini market just here on the corner. Oh, you can hear that wind. So we're just here on the edge of Bloomfield Road. And the rain is on its way. Oh yes, the skies are getting quite black now, as you can see. So Bloomfield Road continues down there. Is that still Central Drive going up there? There is a... S okay, we'll do that. We'll just cross over and see this sign then and we'll go up there, okay? So, you've got the Travel Lodge there and then just at the back of the Travel Lodge you've got a lovely school called Gateway Academy. 
that's a good one to remember and then you can't see it here but just on the corner is the football stadium see how long it <laughs> See how long it takes us to uh, get across this road. Is it going to go green? Oh, you've got Andy Meat Man just there in front of us. The meat specialist, it says. You know, you could have a cup of tea and relax the time it takes for it to go green, couldn't you? <laughs> you could have had a nap. <laughs> it totally takes after me, you can tell. Oh, I will wake up from 12 hours sleep and then sit 10 minutes and go for 3 4 hours. Watch for the green. There we go, it's finally green. <coughs> oh no. Oh no, please don't say it's another 5 minute wait. I hate waiting, I'm so impatient. So much. Totally wicked uh, electronic cigarettes and e liquid there. And yes, this road going up is still Central Drive. So we'll just wait half an hour again to cross the road. We're just here in front of Cash for Cloves, which clearly has closed down. So we're just here on the other side now. We managed to finally get across the crossing. Oh, you've got a nice um, Dulux um, decorator centre just there. So we're going to continue down Bloomfield Road now. What time is it, please, Perry? one. Um, just in case you're new to the area, you have got a post box here just on the corner. Yeah, got um, Connor Studios and Apartments Clean Affordable Modern Living from £65 a week, 304309. I mean, £65, that's, that's really cheap. Just over the road there we've got Lloyd's Pharmacy right next door to Bloomfield Medical Centre. That's handy having the chemist right next door. Just there. And just to my right here this is Falmouth Road. That looks a nice little street doesn't it? Some nice houses around here to be fair. It's a nice little area. So it's just um, just me and Perry now to do the rest of the tour because the others have deserted us to go off shopping. Charming. <laughs> Your hands are freezing. Oh look, you have competition. You've got Lloyd's Pharmacy there and you've got Whitworth Pharmacy here. Oh, it's a drive through as well, so... Mm. Bloomfield Club there over the road. It's a good little area this. And then just coming up here to my right is Shetland Road. I think it's always good to know the street names, especially if you're you know, coming and move into the area. Okay, I've got a question. What's your question? How, how do you pronounce Lovely? Lovely. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. So I said it last night, and my mate was like, Lovely car on road. And I was like, listen, <laughs> I'm from Yorkshire. Yeah. Leave me alone. How else would you guys say lovely? Let us know. But I say it lovely. I'm like car on road. Car on road. <laughs> Up road, cup of tea, yeah. yeah road, that's the Yorkshire bit slipping in, isn't it? Lovely. I saw a Facebook video the other night and it had a little girl sitting in front of the car and uh, the mum goes, do you like that sandwich? And she goes, oh, yeah, it's, lovely. it's lovely. She's so cute. <laughs> and that one where um, the dad is talking to his son and he's from Yorkshire. Yeah, like, car up road, yeah. yeah I was the, howling at that. That looks really nice, doesn't it? Barbell Bistro. A grill, coffee, smoothies. That does look really nice. And then you've got Lidl, just over the road there. You can't beat Lidl, can you? 
Monday to Saturday 8am to 10pm and Sunday it's 10am to 4pm quite a good store there I mean it's massively cheaper isn't it Lidl and Aldi compared to the supermarkets and again honestly I've gone on about the toilet rolls in about the past five videos I've been fuming at the price hike well yesterday when I went into Heron the butter that I normally get had nearly 40p price hike 40p no seriously that's ridiculous isn't it when you add up all of it across the cost of your shopping that is a massive massive price hike I mean what are they doing the thing is they haven't put the wages up to fall in line with it that's what annoys me oh it's freezing so just on the corner of Anstell Road is the cottage bakery that looks really nice home baked bread cakes that looks really good and then you've got the Bloomfield brew house there they do food that's a nice place as well shall we continue up this way so we're now on Anstell Road also got a lot of businesses around here as well just coming up is high tech TV repair specialist Turkish barber over the road evergreen Chinese takeaway best one with a post office you've got Dino's there oh yeah Tesco Express over there William Hill and a barber's on the corner this one's available to let it's a great little area this isn't it we've got absolutely everything you need round here yeah oh I'm so excited to see Sleeping Beauty Steve Royal what a legend I swear I've met Hayley before I don't know I've uh I've always wanted to meet Hayley. I was always a fan of her when I watched her in uh, from the soaps. So you've got here on the corner Bloomfield Wine Stores. Everything you need in there. I don't know who was beeping there. I was literally just listening to a song called that. <laughs> so car radio of Blackpool Limited there and this one looks nice chop and polish hair and nail salon Blackpool's number one hand car wash there oh I feel sorry for him he must be freezing <laughs> What is the need? Anyway, we've got Slimming World on the corner there. I could do with a bit of that. <laughs> I love it when people say that vegans are skinny and malnourished and I'm like, have you seen me? Have you actually seen me? I don't even think my fingers are classed as skinny. <laughs> uh, classic upholstery just in front of us here. And you've got a lovely carpet and bed shop here. Like called um, Finsbury like oh a wine shop over the road oh look at that balcony that is beautiful oh I really like that that's lovely um, Threffle Road I think this street belongs to Ian <laughs> <laughs> Ian, is there something you're not telling us? I'll see you, Ian, lad. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what that big building is at the end of the street. Hey. It looks official. Yeah. Oh, there's a business advertised here. Look, perfect finished interior and exterior painter. Oh, I need a painter for next year. There we go. Get the details there. Raffles fish and chips on the corner there. Oh, it 
is absolutely freezing. Oh, I like his horns on his helmet, that's cool. <laughs> Can you read that street name over the road there? Is it Beardman? Right. I mean, I still can't see. It's just a book It looks like it says Boardman. Let me see. Boar Roman? Oh, you know what? I'm going to have to cross over now. That's annoying me. Boardman. There you go. So just there is Boardman Avenue. really pretty I like that it's it's clean it looks really nice it looks cozy doesn't it so just to the right of me here we've got Nuttall Road so again Aaron Aaron you own in a street mate <laughs> now all these people are keeping secrets yeah that's the one and I can't read that one in front of me but it looks like it says bear sure yeah, no I'll get closer to it yeah, it's your turn, get jogging. It says Bearshaw Avenue, I'm sure it does. Everything's just blurry from this. <laughs> Beardshaw, Bearshaw, oh God's sake. <laughs> um, I'm sure there's a D, I'll go for Beardshaw. <laughs> Beardshaw Avenue. Watch it be wrong now and it'd be called like Lucy Street or something. <laughs> Also, if you have uh, roofing needs, tour roofing here, 766444. And that's tour roofing. It's nice to advertise, you know, businesses, especially ones on houses like that. You know, we're a community, we have to help each other out, don't we? And that's one of the big things that Myers Family Blackpool stands for is supporting local businesses and if you're walking past somewhere you know you can just advertise them it takes two seconds doesn't it i've never been this far down i don't think down this end it's nice to see somewhere new so this one here is dunsop close yes nice house that that's a nice little, um, look, nice little cul-de-sac there. Uh, so just there is Dover Road, and you've got the Blackpool Paint Company just there on the corner. Looks a nice little shop. Yeah, we're approaching a school somewhere. I'm not sure which school it is, but we'll soon find out. Oh! Oh! That wind! This is Harris Avenue. From, from our walk now? Yeah. Wow. Well, since I've been away. Does that say Bron Grove or Brun? Brun, isn't it? Brun. Brun. I think that's a U. Brun, Brun. So I think that's Brun Grove. Yes, it's Brun. It says U. Oh, and this is a, a nice little centre. I don't know if it's a school or a shoe start. Looks like a school. Let's have a look. Waterloo, that's the one. Waterloo Primary, is it? Okay, we're trying to think of other. Waterloo Primary Academy. Three one five three seven zero. So 
yeah, we have walked quite a way today. We will go back and do Lytham Road another day. But we'll make sure... You raised me right. <laughs> we'll make sure there's no pit bulls next time when we do the walk. You've got KCMA Aesthetics and Training just on the corner there. And you've also got Generations Property Management Limited. You can see the sign there, so it's just down the side of that building. Oh, oh yeah, my hands are going numb. It's freezing. <laughs> that looks really nice. Let's just stop at this um, fencing bit a minute. Got a red carpet and everything. You've got Box Brothers Funeral Service just there. <coughs> Hopefully it's going to go green in a second. Oh, when it has done. Are we? Yeah. I didn't realise we were that far up. Yeah, just down there and round. <laughs> what is flashing, look, the red light? Yeah, I think green light said not to dear love. Not to dear love. <laughs> that looks really nice, the Beauty Club Sunland, just over the road there. It looks warm as well. 978501. They have unisex treatments there for nails, pedicure, hairdressing, hair extensions, aesthetic cosmetology, lashes, brows, tint, wax, massages, full body treatments. I don't think these lights are working. I think, oh, there we go, green. Oh, I thought he was turning then. Yeah, they've made this look really nice, especially with the, um, you know, the red carpet and everything. <coughs> they've made it look really inviting, haven't they? Yeah, definitely a thumbs up on that one. Um, so we've just come down that street. What's that street there with the Methodist church on? I'm wondering, should we go up that one? Yeah? Yeah. Come on then. Let's press the green man. Wait half an hour again to cross. Oh, it's on green still. You can just see the phone number there for Box Bruvs Limited, 791500. I do believe that is a funeral um, service just there on the corner. And that's on Horse Side Lane. Yeah, that goes up to Asda, doesn't it, Horse Side Lane? Yeah. Oh, right, yeah, we are quite far out then. Come on, green man. Honestly, I spent half of my life waiting for the green man. Oh, yeah, he's over there, look. Yeah, come back this way, please. Oh, you've got Spen pizza and kebabs there. Free delivery. And this is Martin Drive. So the street we're on here is Martin Drive. But we're going on to Waterloo Road. Come on, green man. Yes, yeah, so you think it'd be on green now, wouldn't you? Daniel Holroyd Heating and Plumbing Services, just there on the corner. <laughs> Are you that freezing? Yes. Right, I'm just crossing. I know we shouldn't because it's not on green. But honestly, I'll be waiting there 10 hours. <laughs> Waterloo Road. Oh, here you are, green man. Yeah, you're over here, yeah? <laughs> yeah, it's about time. I wasn't lost a finger in the process. So we're just coming up to the Waterloo Road Methodist Church, if that's your thing. There's a church there. Waterloo Road.
I mean, I'm not like into religion or anything, but one thing I do like is old church buildings. You've, you've got to admire the beauty of the building, like St. John's Church in town. That is a magnificent building. I really like history. I love historical buildings. So here if you are getting married, you can contact Malrisa Wedding Cars. Perfect weddings are made in heaven, but the cars are supplied by them. That's kind of cute. You've got Brooks Joinery and Building Contractors. The big poster is just there. 0800 197 5595 New builds and extensions, all roofing work undertaken. So if you need roofing work, there you go. Does that say go over the road or geo? Looks like it says geo, I think it's the salon, yes. The salon the glow. Oh glow, silly me. Salonglow.co.uk Renovation and building developments there. Uh, just to the right of me, you have Dalewood Avenue. Those are pretty, aren't they? I like that that one there on the corner, pal. Seen some really nice properties today. So just on the corner over the road, you've got Blackpool Sunbeds, 798201. I could do with a sunbed right now, I am absolutely frozen. <laughs> Can't wait to get in home and uh, wrap up warm. So I can't see the street name here because there's a big massive tree in front of it. Oh, it's, oh it says it there, so that's Rectory Road. Rectory Road just here. Oh, oh that wind. That's a nice building on the corner there. Can't see that street name. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, I like the roof. It's very loud on this street, isn't it? We've, oh that's nice so that used to be Martin Branch Library that's really quite pretty you can see all the um, oh it's been carved there that looks quite nice doesn't it so how long have we been walking for Pearl? I think we set off by 10 to 12 something like that an hour and a half we've been walking wow well we're going to be obviously carry on walking but we're going to be heading back towards home no i'm not walking costa express here and smiley's one stop shop and, and two pound fifty every time you purchase 25 scan and save products they have they have frozen coke I can't, I'm frozen enough without any frozen drinks. Oh my god, they have frozen turkeys and Reese's peanut butter cups. That's actually a really good shop, isn't it? Yeah, it's Frozen Coca-Cola. Ice blasts. Oh, Reese's and Hershey's, look. Oh, yeah. That's a good shop, isn't it? Costa Express as well. Oh, they've also got something over there, look, with... Um, a butty bar as well, cash machine there. That looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah, that's a really good uh, corner shop. It's um, a lot better than your average one, isn't it? So yeah, good area. Right, come on. I want to call in there after. If you want to go and go now. Okay, I'll wait outside.
yeah so I've just been in that shop and the staff are, are really friendly it's a great shop they even sell like small kegs of beer for one of them was 35 pounds um, but they had every different type you could think of they've got a full selection of vapes here every alcohol that you could possibly see and Perry's got frozen coke oh can I have a taste of that please goodness that is nice it, it, it. even though I'm frozen and I'm drinking a frozen drink that is lovely lovely <laughs> that's lovely yeah I was just telling everyone what a great shop that is it's literally got everything inside I would move up here just to have that corner shop I've never ever seen a corner shop that has all the things that that one has massive. oh it's amazing inside honestly yeah. I've just said to the one of the staff in there that is the best corner shop we have ever seen so you get the award. Literally, I think all the towns you visited as well. Yeah. That's by far the best corner shop. Definitely. Number one, that one for a corner shop. So we're just here at um, Berry's Beds. I could do with a bed right now. I've been out of mine far too long. My body is sulking. Oh, look how comfy that looks. <laughs> Can we go and test them out? <laughs> so um, lowest prices guaranteed. I could do with that one right now. I like that bed. <coughs> So here we are at uh, Whitam Avenue. I teach at Plumbers Whitam. JCS Plumbing and Draining Company there. We've got some uh, elderly apartments here. Residential Children's Services, Oak Tree Childcare. Nurturing positive outcomes. That's brilliant. They're on Facebook. So you've got childcare there. Is, this is still Waterloo Road, yeah. I've really enjoyed this walk today. We're going to end up walking a bloody motorway and end up somewhere else. <laughs> It'll be like, with hi everyone, you're here with Myers Family Blackpool in Preston. Since when were we Forest Gump? We just decided to go for a walk. <laughs> 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 oh Black god. Like <laughs> <A> bus <stop. laughs> no, we are not getting the bus. Kids, honestly. So we're just over the road from Blackpool Music School. 695398. Blackpool Music Academy. It's a registered charity. <coughs> Oh gosh, I've just realised where we are. We have walked really, really yeah, far. Home. Oh my God. Maggie's on Blackpool Eats there. Babylon. Domino's. Domino's. You've got to love a bit of Domino's. No, Especially 50% off pizza when you spend £35 or more online. Mm -mm -mm. Let's have a quick look in the window there. Domino's South Shore. Oh, it's making me hungry now. I could absolutely murder a, a pizza right now. Bespoke barbering and grooming there. So this um, baby shop is uh, relocating to 118 Church Street, which is on the corner of Topping Street. So it'll close here on the 29th. Oh, it has closed, 29th of October. <coughs> And just over the road there you've got Mickey's discount carpets and you've got a nice little um, salon there called Blossom. Oh there's a Greg's over the road. Oh we've got to go in Greg's. <laughs> Honestly it'd be rude not to. Oh okay I'm nearly getting run over. <laughs> ah! oh, oh. That's on cell paramedics doesn't it? <laughs> what happened I'd get run over? Right. Running for Greg's. So here is, uh, this is Vicarage Lane going down here, look there. And we've just got Aldi there over the road. The Martin Institute here just next to Perry. Bowling Green, Beer Garden and Live Entertainment. Copper Dragon Brewery. Would you like to join the bowling team or learn to play? Then call Les on that number there. Oh, Perry! Michael Jackson Raw Dance Tribute on the 25th of November 
ticket seven pound. Where are you looking? Here. Excuse me. There. <laughs> Although you, it's going to be hard to beat CJ. No, Narvi. CJ is brilliant. I've not seen Narvi, but um, join us every Tuesday and Thursday. Cash prizes, bingo, eight o'clock. Oh, I love a bit of bingo. You've got a function suite there. And you can hire a room for birthdays, weddings, funerals, christenings in there. Perry's just going off and leaving me. Cheers, kid. Oh my God, I cannot believe you stood in the middle of this road. You lunatic. Perry, there's a crossing up there. Oh God, honestly, I'm having like palpitations now just watching him. They're not going to let you cross. You need to come back. Perry, come back. Come back. Quickly run, run, run. I right, don't ever, 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 ever cross the road like that again. There's a green cross in there, mate. Well, open your eyes. I am blind. You've got a HSBC bank there next to the Martin. Picture framing centre and auto body shop supplies just in front of us well at least it hasn't rained yet so apparently it was going to be 15 minutes after we set off we've been walking for an hour and a half so those clouds are looking very dark though i hope i get home before it rains appliance spares direct Euro on it, Euro, Euronics, is that how you pronounce it? Thank you. I'm going to go over to Greg's and get a sausage roll. See, this is my problem, I want to be slim. <laughs> but I love food. It's hard, isn't it? They say you are what you eat, I must be a sausage roll then. <laughs> No, I'm frozen. Uh, be more frozen. Huh? Be more frozen. Uh, no, you're alright. So we've just crossed over there. We go around here. And we can get a sausage roll. Yay! I hope they have the sausage rolls though. Do you fancy going in for me, darling, so I can rest my old feet for a minute? You all want me? Yeah. Thanks, love. Happy days. Mm. All right, pal. All right. Let's set off them. Bloody cold. Yep. Let's set off walking. Thank you, Gregs. <laughs> well, I forgot to tell you earlier, when we walked past some houses, there was a man in the window and his face was literally like this when he saw me going past with the camera and I was like calm down Frederick <laughs> <laughs> it's only a vlogger <laughs> <Come on, love laughs> <me. laughs> which way do we go now down there yeah. no this is Park Road I don't like these roads when they don't have a green man because how do you know when you can set off? Like look, if we've not, see, if we'd have stepped out then he would have... Uh, he would have got us. Oh, sorry. So you've got there a veterinary centre called Rowan. Seven six six three five two, just there on the corner. What street is this called? There's no, doesn't seem to be a sign, does there? Oh, look at the 
fucking the pram. Oh, that is adorable. <laughs> Isn't this the street we walked down earlier? Oh. It is, there's the Tesco Express look. Are you sure? Yeah. I think we already filmed this. We didn't walk past the subway. Oh. Our Tesco was way smaller than there was a pub next to it. Yeah, good point. And we didn't walk past that Martin Church. I know where we are, this is, um, this is Whitegate Drive. What? Yeah. I drove down here. Oh my God, we're miles away from home. These boots are made for walking And that's just what they'll do <laughs> So you've got um, St Paul's Church there It's a nice building and This one here is Glastonbury Avenue What a cool street name. Did you see the thing about Glastonbury tickets? What about Glastonbury tickets? They're like the price of them went to like a shop, but it's like, I can't even remember, I think it might have been around like £600. £600 for a ticket to a festival? It might even be lower than that. So just over the road there, you've got the Saddle Inn. They've got a nice little beer garden there and a, a smoking area. That looks quite nice. Boots. Colour lounge. Barber J's shop. And of course, William Hill. And then on the edge there, you've got Sayers Bakers. Saddle Chippy and filed telecom oh no it's not good is it <laughs> b&m there on the corner you have the best pajamas over there oh, 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 oh. don't run me over thank you <laughs> tesco express yeah Papa John's or Domino's. oh that's a hard one yep. i think we need to ask the followers yeah. papa john's or Domino's. I'd have to go Papa John's, I think. But what would you say, guys? Let me know. So you've got a lot of shops over there. You've got, um, I can't even pronounce it, Chiropodist, um, which is a foot specialist. Shapers, hair salon. Uh, backyard bistro bar. A fireworks shop. Number 10, Ale House. It's a real ale and Thai kitchen. That looks nice. Um, embrace home care. Quality care in your own home. 543443. That looks nice as well. Adult day centre as well. Embrace lodge. Really good that they have things like that. And of course we have the wonderful Papa John's. Just there on the corner next to totally wicked e-cigarette thing you got Longfellow's you know what actually talking about e-cigarettes they honestly it just seems ridiculous it's like smoking a fruit pastel what is the point we, and, and he has a vape in his hand while I'm saying that he actually has a vape why would you want to smoke sweets honestly it's not sweets it's apples Okay, you're smoking fruit. Just eat an apple, honestly. These young guns today. So you've got greenhouse flowers there and Subway. Indigo hair and beauty. Uh, this one is Kirkham Avenue. Why would you have Kirkham Avenue in Blackpool? Put Kirkham Avenue in Kirkham, surely. Honestly, logic has gone from the world. Four Seasons. Oh, green elephant. Do you know, I'm just a grumpy old lady, aren't I? I'm just a, gr a grumpy old lady. Um, hungry elephant and print it. Mm. What? I love elephants. Yeah, hungry elephant cafe and takeaway there. 
You've got a mobile phone e-cig again and repair shop. You've got Ferguson Road here. Light Brown Avenue, um, just there. So yeah, we're on Whitegate Drive. Another really good street for shops and businesses. So it's a good street to walk down. <laughs> when Perry was little and he saw a digger, he used to go, digger, dig, dig, dig. <laughs> dig, dig, dig. So we're just here outside Whitegate Manor, which is children, adult and what? children adult and family services through the council wow. and it's just next door to the Blackpool Centre for Independent Living another fantastic service to help people to have the best quality of life that they can they provide peer support and resilience hub the new Langdale day services and micro projects meeting rooms and PC suite nursing and therapy services community brain injury rehabilitation service so that is just fantastic you've also got light lounge there and yes it is starting to rain i've heard of the light lounge yes been uh, yeah. a good support network there and yes it is raining oh god oh god oh god oh god i could do with a taxi right now Oh, my camera does not like water. This material, it's yeah. really weird when it's wet. Oh. So yeah, we've had to um, we've had to put the umbrella up. Look, it's having a right good rain now. Not impressed. It could have waited, couldn't it, until after I'd got back home. It's very inconsiderate. Yeah, it's very inconsiderate. Just hope the wind doesn't pick up though. <laughs> <laughs> so yet again, we are doing what we always do. We're waiting for the green man. I think he does it deliberately. I think when he sees me walk towards, he goes, ha ha ha, wait. <laughs> he does, honestly, he's got a vendetta against me. He's gonna go to them first over there, you watch. <laughs> Your favoritism. Oh, Same green. Time, he's like, yeah, I'll, I'll prove you wrong. I'm gonna make you look like an idiot now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, honestly. Oh, it's been good though. I've enjoyed it today, have you? Hi nice bit of exercise it's really good having a nice long walk getting out in the fresh air that's an early losing hand does it well to go how did you lose your hand it's an early how because it's like minus seven thousand degrees <laughs> seven thousand that was a bit of an exaggeration mate six thousand eight hundred like, i feel like on her when like her fingertips are freezing into ice <laughs> and she just stood there <laughs> oh that's a cute dog see that's my type of dog something like that <laughs> not a big scary pit bull a husky no yeah. i don't like rottweilers either i didn't say rottweiler did i you mother? i said i don't like them either <laughs> well no one's talking about rottweilers <laughs> well i was <laughs> they're scary you're scary i got bit by a husky i was going to buy him off this man turned up and the dog bit me <laughs> went, it went through both sides of my hand so i said to the man you can keep your dog <laughs> he says i told you he was a bit of a chewer yeah i was like yeah i thought you meant chewing carpets and sofas <laughs> not my hand we can buy a taxi two and a half grand <laughs> stop a minute um glenroyd medical practice just there and you've got the bridge and uh, oh god it's really raining now yeah you've got westbury i think that's a medical center yeah just next to the walk-in center which we're just about to go past in a minute Ooh. can't wait to get home put a movie on at tea time with kids and we're going to have a lazy tea today we're going to have chicken nuggets noodles and maybe a few chips that's just a proper, proper lazy tea, isn't it? Yeah. You've got to have lazy days some days, so haven't you? <laughs> I love it in the winter when you're at home, watching a movie, all nice and warm. And when it's raining outside and you're sat inside, 
It's quite nice. Oh, careful, I think you just nearly took the eyeball out. <laughs> Sorry. No biggie. I really could do with keeping it, please. You can just pop it back in for you. Oh. Right, right outside the, the wall, pin tent now. What was that film where he, um, oh, Labyrinth. Do you remember those um, yeah. puppets? They swallow <laughs> the eyeballs and then it goes back into the eyes. Yeah, just swallow it. <laughs> oh. There's no water on my camera. So yeah, um, this is the Whitegate Health Centre. So in here you've got the urgent, uh, the, the walk-in, where you go if you don't need to go to A&E. You've also got an emergency dentist. You've got an adult services, we'll call it, because we're, we're filming. Um, there's also an x-ray centre, but I think that's just Monday to Friday that that's available. Is there anything else we've missed? They've got a little cafe on the ground floor. There's like a children's section with like a little play area. Children's section, oh of course, yeah, that's where Mark went for his ears the last time, yeah. And you can also go there for blood testing as well. Yeah. A great little place, is that? I need to do that actually, it just reminded me. And then when you come out of the walk-in centre, just there on the corner, you've got classic cobblers. So, um, sounds like a nice little butty shop. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a butty shop, but actually it's key cutting and shoe repairs. I was about to say, go in there and get yourself a butty. Your <laughs> jacket. <laughs> what happened? Did you not feel it? Did all the water go on yeah, me? the umbrella flicked and then it went all down your hair and your jacket. Oh, cheers. I wondered what that <laughs> dripping was. <laughs> I am now soaked. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to... Oh, yeah. um, the stone camera, I'll just do it again. <laughs> no. I'm going to head look the green man see. He's taunting me. I'm going to um, get back off home now, I think, because it's... <laughs> Right, oh god, <laughs> oh this is crazy. I'm kind of looking forward to this winter, you know, for filming though, because you go down the seafront in the winter and some of the waves go absolutely yeah. sky high. I find that so relaxing sitting there and filming it. Hopefully I won't get hit by a wave like I did last <laughs> year. That video got 12,000 views. I put on the caption, don't laugh at me getting hit by a wave and uh, it hit me. <laughs> what did you say? That's me mum. What did you say? Yeah, mumbled something and smirked. <laughs> he's probably thinking you single. He's probably thinking you pair of Looney Tunes, what are you doing walking around the streets? Oh yeah, I'm in a onesie. Filming in the rain and you're in a onesie. <laughs> oh. In the pyjamas in the rain and white shoes. Why not? It's got to be done, eh? Yeah. So businesses, the ozone, products and packaging. Oh, that kitchen one looks nice, doesn't it? Kitchen design. Ooh, yeah. I like the marble. White gate hardware and DIY. Alchemy lounge. Nails and cosmetology. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah. Brighter Let's property rentals here. Buy a workshop and a laundrette there, right next to Trinity Hospice. Subway and Tesco Express just over the road there. That family shop is new since I last came up here. I've been there a while. Yeah, but it's a while I since I've came up rolls. here. Hey? I said it looks really little rolls. <laughs> Hopefully they're not £10. <laughs> Stop a second. Oh, this looks um, another good shop, doesn't it? You know, Tesco's a pound in there. Oh, a pound, that's not bad for some toilet roll, guys. So, oh God, right, come on. My feet are soaking. I really need to invest in wellies for winter. Grocery, grocery delivery in 30 to 60 minutes. Snappy shopper which I'm assuming is the one just behind us. That big corner shop we've just seen. That's not bad. Also the co-op as well. On Just Eat you can get the co-op to deliver yeah, milk and things like that. Morrison's and a few corner shops as well. It's really good, isn't it? Yeah. 
this is nice bathroom and tile showroom plumber's merchant we're getting near the end of Whitegate Drive now and almost near the end of the video tomorrow me and Perry and Kaylee and Mark are going to be going up to Bispam and Little Bispam and we're going to be filming up there and then if I have time tomorrow night I'm going to be filming the uh, you know those lights that are at the side of the road like the light display they have at the side of the road up Bispam we're going to try and film that for Lily so if Lily's mum is watching Emma um, I haven't forgotten about that video I'm so sorry it's took me a while to get round to it but I will definitely go and film it so we're going to be up Bispam tomorrow but it will be in the daytime so I'll try and get back in the night for the lights and if not next week definitely you're on the list um, oh, also tomorrow at four o'clock I'm going to be filming with the Blackpool Daddy uh, Aka Christopher Higgett who is Blackpool's burger boy everybody knows him you must be following his uh, his videos they're brilliant so four o'clock tomorrow we're going to do that um, I won't tell you what we're gonna do just just wait until tomorrow to see the video so we're gonna sign off now because as you can see we're getting absolutely drenched we're gonna go and get ourselves in a taxi to go home so um, thank you for watching our little adventure <laughs> Do you mind? <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Take care. Don't forget to follow us here at Myers Family Blackpool. Bye. <laughs>